As Dr. Abernathy's body lay before the pulpit from which he had called thousands of people to God, thousands felt the call to file past the coffin and pay respects. The church filled with pastors of many churches, with presidents of universities, with members of Congress, holders of office, giants of civil rights, and the working men and women who called Ralph David Abernathy friend and pastor. He was best friend of Martin Luther King Jr. They were giants who marched together. If Ralph had lost his life along with Martin, he would have been instantly accorded the same veneration that Martin received and fully deserved. The two of them would have been as close together in death as they were in life. The tributes lasted four hours and foretold more tributes to come. I call the city council person for this district, the Honorable Thomas Cuffey, and requested that the name of Gordon Street be changed from beginning to end. Ralph David Abernathy Drive. Abernathy and King were known as the civil rights twins. They marched so many miles and shared so many jail cells together. They strategized, they marched, they faced threats, they shared jail cells, they have thought criticism together, they redefined the ministry. Yet last year, other civil rights leaders turned on Abernathy when he wrote about King's romantic strains. I urge you to purchase and read, and the walls came tumbling down. <laughs> it was not a mistake. It is the truth. Ralph Abernathy was co-founder of the civil rights movement with Martin Luther King. And before they wheeled his body from the church, his daughter sang a solo. <laughs>